Another thing lawmakers decided on during the final hours of the session, lifting the state's ban on mixed martial arts. News 8's Bob Golson live in Hartford at the Capitol with the latest on what the decision means for our state. Bob? Yeah, mixed martial arts or MMA is where you put two guys into a ring or two women into a ring and it's, it's just they just beat on each other and kick each other. And if, if you don't follow the sport, you may look at it, come across it on TV and continue flipping the channels. It has been banned here in Connecticut for a long time until today. That's because they believe there's economic impact to be gained. Some say it's just one step up from a bare knuckle street brawl. Two men in a ring or in most cases a cage where almost anything goes. Others say it's a business opportunity for Connecticut and the state can't afford to miss out on it. It's called mixed martial arts fighting or MMA. MMA as a sport has been gaining popularity not just regionally, nationally, but literally worldwide. Because of its growing popularity, lawmakers voted to allow MMA matches to be scheduled in Connecticut. Before today's vote, MMA was allowed in every state but Connecticut and New York where it had been banned, except at the state's two Indian casinos. If you're not into the sport and you wonder why should I care, it's because now places like the XL Center and here at Harbor Yard in Bridgeport will now be able to host fights that can bring in money into the state. One show in our building would have a multiple six-figure effect on the state alone between the ticket tax, there's a supplemental tax that is on uh, MMA product, uh, the economic impact on downtown Bridgeport would be huge. But is it selling your soul? Some lawmakers have fought against it from day one. They say, just look at it. Look at the beatings these guys give and take using mixed martial arts. It's actually brutal. It's bloody. And I don't think it's a message that I personally think we should be sending. I just think since what happened in Connecticut on December 14th that I, I don't think the state should be promoting violence. Uh, to me, it's not like a real sport. But the speaker notes the jobs and economic impact and the fact that the events will be regulated like professional boxing. We know that it's already happening privately and secretly in other places. This would essentially regulate the sport for the first time in Connecticut, which would make it a much safer sport. And they have to keep up with the changing times. MMA is now the fastest growing sport in America and the world. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Hartford, News 8.